Hey guys, my name is Tom, and this is going to be a very short tutorial on 5.1 surround sound panning. This is assuming you've already got your monitor set up, your left, center, right, left surround, right surround, and LFE. This uh, walrus is you, by the way, in the middle. It's, gonna, it's assuming that you've got those set up and calibrated. It's not assuming that you're going to be using Pro Tools. It doesn't really matter what uh, program you're using. It could be Pro Tools, it could be uh, Resolve, it could be Premiere, Final Cut, totally arbitrary, it doesn't matter. Panning practices are going to be the same regardless of what software you're using. So we're going to go through and talk about where you want to pan in this field, including the LFE, your dialogue, your sound effects, your music, and your background ambience. So there's uh, kind of some standards. You could break these rules anytime. This is just to kind of clue you in on the Standard operating procedure, we'll call it, for 5.1 surround panning. So to start with, dialog is generally going to be in the center channel. It's not going to move off of here unless somebody's going off camera and you really want to pull the sound off screen. Or if you have, you know, a horror movie, somebody screaming, you want the audience to get spooked. They'll look behind them because you panned the scream to the surround channels. Uh, but we're generally not, you know, like over the shoulders, panning left, and then close up in the middle, and then wide shot, have everybody spread out. Sometimes you'll do that, but most of the time it's just right down the center. The same can be said for sound effects and Foley. And a lot of people think of sound effects as, well, this can be stereo, right? We can have stereo sound effects to widen the field. It's not always good because you want stuff to be tied to the screen, and if somebody in the theater or at home, they're sitting on the right side of the screen, and you have no center channel, then even if it's left and right, because it's stereo, it's going to sound like it's coming from the right side of the screen over here. So you want to have most of your sound effects be in the center. That includes your Foley, uh, footsteps, props, gunshots, cars, etc. It's a little different when there's a big sound, like a big sound design stinger, or maybe it's a, a vehicle interior and you want the audience to feel surrounded, then sure, pan it out to the left and right. Uh, you can, you know, cut cut stereo layers is the best way to do that and then have some separate layers for the rear channels you might end up with something that ends up like that but generally your bread and butter hard sound effects doors all that stuff is mono maybe for a shootout gun shootout you'll pan stuff uh harder you know put some stuff in the surrounds make it saving private ryan level that's totally fine but all this stuff on screen just keep it in the center totally fine uh music music is Generally, you're going to get stereo music from the composer, unless they have a 5.1 setup. So it's going to, just when you throw it in your session, it's going to want to play out of the left and right. That's okay, but what I like to do if I just have a stereo music track, and I don't have a way to up mix it from stereo to 5.1, is I like to just bring it back into the room a little bit. Sometimes I'll also bring it in to the center. You see how I move this puck just a little bit into the center channel. And so I've got all five channels, but it's still mostly weighted to the front, left, and right channels. So left and right are going to have a lot of music. Left surround, right surround will have a little bit, and center might have a little bit. That's kind of like to taste, though. The LFE, I generally don't use for music. Maybe a big stinger, big you know drum hit, boom. I'll send that there, but I'm not going to send like bass guitar, uh, bass synthesizer, percussion. I'm not just sending whole stems or, or the whole music track to the LFE because it's not meant for that. It's not a bass management channel. It is a low frequency effects channel. So use it for an effect. Use it for a special moment. Don't just send everything to it because then you have no effect. That's music. So, oh, this is a good, I would say a pretty good shape. If your music stem is shaped like this, where you have, you know, say 70-80% in the left and right, and then the other channels are down here, that generally sounds pretty good. For background ambience, I'll kind of do a similar thing, except for the center channel is much more important to glue the dialogue to the background ambience, the, meaning the sound effects you're adding for, the, for the, the location, like birds, wind, traffic. You want to have a center layer for the center channel, but you also want to have some stereo layers, which you can then spread out into the surrounds. And my ambience stem usually ends up shaped a little more like this. It's usually like way down here, but it's going to be 
a lot in the center and then some in the left and right and then some in the surround. For bigger special locations like the jungle, I might have a track that's only playing in the surrounds, like a certain bird track or something. Um, but yeah, you want to have that nice beefy center layer for that so that the dialogue, especially if the dialogue edit isn't perfect, really helps just glue the dialogue to the location to have that, that background image that you add in to kind of mask some of the edits and just like sync everything into the screen. So that is a quick overview on uh, surround panning. Center channel is going to carry your dialogue and most of your sound effects. Left and right will have the bigger sound effects along with a lot of music and your background ambience. And then left surround and right surround are going to have uh, music and maybe some background ambience, maybe some sound design every once in a while, but they're going to be carrying a lot less than the rest of the channels. And the LFE is just used for like certain moments, like little splash of hot sauce on stuff to make it extra special. You're not sending your whole mix to the LFE and just using it like a bass management channel. So hopefully this has helped you uh, walruses out there if you're getting started with 5.1 surround. Try to keep it short. And uh, if you want to know more, I do have videos on mixing. They are in Pro Tools. That's just what I use. I might try to branch out a little bit, but it's kind of based on how much time I have. So hopefully this helps you guys, and I'll catch you next time.